Giuseppe. Joseph and the children of Uganda by building a secondary school. We're currently at 42,000 and change and counting. Hey. People are wonderful. And uh, Father Vincent, I'm sure, will speak to that in, in a short moment. And in the meantime, I'd like to get things started with Monsignor Ken with an opening prayer, please. You can remain seated with Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we praise you for all blessings that you give to us, especially a love for one another, even across the ocean. We ask that you continue to bless our sister parish, Holy Trinity. Bless St. Mary's Parish. Uh, continue to help us to bring honor and glory to your name and to good and to build your kingdom. We pray all in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, uh, we formed this parish twinning ministry uh, just under a year ago. Uh, a number of us came to the parish council in Uganda uh, we don't realize how fortunate we are, and uh, I just uh, want this ministry to let everyone know that, that you know, there's people who need m much greater than we do. And um, I'm honored to help Father Vincent and his parish. Uh, our ministry, we have wonderful people. I'd like to thank everyone in our ministry for doing their part. There's two people who I, I want to especially recognize. They were, they were the MVPs of this carnival and, and these collections. Uh, Ron Venadia, please stand up. <laughs> uh, Ron has done so much work for this ministry, He's our, our brain trust, he comes up with all the great ideas, he, he came up with the idea for buy a brick, and uh, our, our carnival efforts raised uh, $2,389, uh, and second MVP, who's filming right now, <laughs> Bud DeSalvo, please take a bow. Bud was probably single-handedly responsible for selling 70% or better of the bricks. He, he was a machine. Uh, he's not an outgoing person by nature, but and make something within him. With half the people. <laughs> something he made him go, and God bless him for it. He loves to take your money, though. Yeah. And he did the website, too. And, yeah, and he uh, built the website, website. Trinity That's Parish, cool. Uganda. Again, uh, you know, we have wonderful people in our ministry, but none of this would be possible without the generosity of the parishioners of St. Mary's. And every one of you are wonderful, and God bless you all. I'd like to introduce Mary Goss. Uh, 
founder of Yambi Uganda, the charity that helps get all the money directly to Father Vincent uh, and helps them in all their endeavors. Mary, thank you. I am so, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm so happy to be here. Thrilled. I, I, you know, the way this started, the story of it was Monsignor had called me many, many years ago and said, oh, I'm kind of interested, what do I do? So I went over to Uganda and spoke to the bishop. I told him, Monsignor, I'm going over. I spoke to Bishop Paul, and without a doubt, he said, Zeroboy Parish. I said, okay. He said, that is the parish that needs the most. So at that time, Father Vincent Muchibi was just a young boy who I knew for so many years. You know, he wasn't even there yet. He's no father at all. So anyhow, I went, went back and I came to parish council and did a presentation and nothing happened. And I went back the next year, met with Father John Mary who was there and came back and nothing happened. And this went on. Monsignor was really, really careful. He wanted to make sure that this was the right thing and what I guess what the Holy Spirit really wanted. Mm -hmm. So I came back one year and, and showed the pictures and I had talked and Father John Mary was there. And Monsignor said, I think we're ready to go. And I said, wow. You know, it was a long thing. It wasn't just a quick decision. So I praise Monsignor for that. So that was in September. And in October... Now we have Father Vincent Muchivi, who has been two years a priest. Okay. Two years a priest, my son. And I've been so happy to have journeyed with him all along. So what happened, Father was a vocation director in the diocese and youth director. Now that's not easy because the people don't come like they do for the youth here. You have to go all around to see the youth and provide and do all of this. So Monsignor said yes in September, and there was there were talk, little whispers, and I said to Father, ah, Father, I hear there's whispers, you might be a parish priest, meaning the pastor. He said, oh, no, 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 no. He said, no. He said, I have two big jobs, even if they recommend me, the bishop will say no. I'm, I'm telling you a long story. So long and short, uh, he said, and you know what else? He said, I'm a village boy, and I know Father, and I know his family. I visited the village, his mom. He said, you know, the pastor has to be responsible for everything. And in Uganda, the parishioners are supposed to be responsible for the pastor. Well, I've been there and I've seen the collection. It cost us maybe $10 in gas to get out there. And in the collection is a flour, an egg, a mango, a few coins, maybe a dollar, a dollar fifty, two dollars from the heart of these generous people because they've given all that they have for Father. But he said, how can I do all this, be responsible? So needless to say, Monsignor said yes in September and October. Father Vincent was made parish priest, pastor, two years ordained of Zerobwe Parish. So that's the story of the Holy Spirit working in, in all of this. And I just am so grateful for everybody. Um, Father has been my son for many years. He's very, very, very dear to me. He is truly, truly my son. And we've journeyed together. And even before this, Father helped. And, you know, I saw his heart. His heart was for the children. His heart was for his people. Even the first time he came here, he, no, I have to go back. I, and I can see it. He brings joy and delight for his people. So. This was Father's heart, and it was, it's really wonderful. Father worked with Yama Uganda on our many, many projects before this. So this was a perfect fit, and it all just, the Holy Spirit arranged it just so. Really, it just was a wonderful, wonderful thing. And it was on my bucket list, I'll tell you, to take Monsignor with me. I thought that a lot of times. And he's a very brave man. So he's coming along with us. He's going to have a wonderful time. We worked very hard on his program with the deacon. And it's just, and Bernadine, a lady from here, another couple is going to be six of us. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful trip. And the next time, Monsignor's going to get up and tell you all the stories of Uganda, because the people over there are sure waiting for him. So, without further ado, Father Vincent de Paul Muchivi. Thank you so much for inviting me. Dear Monsignor, our pastor, Dean Connie, our Dean Connie, 
the training ministry, Mr. Eric Ron Bad and others. Dear Mamel was the director of Yamba Uganda. Dear friends, I love you so much. We love you back. Thank you. What can I say? <laughs> because I'm just full of joy. I've already been thanking Monsignor so much for the good heart, for being a good pastor. My first time meeting Monsignor, I really saw a very good priest. I'm sorry to say that. A very welcoming priest, a, a father, a good shepherd. Monsignor, we thank you so much. I have stayed now three weeks and I'm going back this Wednesday. <laughs> 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 I want to thank so much Mamma Rigos for having me and Dad Walter. They have given you all kinds of foods. They <laughs> 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 have eaten everything. <laughs> And in three weeks, it seems I've added about six or five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so grateful, please. I'm a village boy, as Mama has said, as I've shared with you from a humble background. I've said this, allow me to say it again. I have a very sad history of my life. And that, back, that background pushes me to do a lot of things. As I, I, I told you yesterday uh, on Sunday, that this month of July is so difficult for me in my life. I'm going to say it again. Because in, in this month of July, I lost my father when I was 12. In the same month, I lost my sister and my brother on the same day. This is what happened. I come from a family of 12 children who were 12. My father died at the beginning of this month of July, maybe second. When he died, he died of malaria. He fell sick. My mother never had the money. He tried to use local herbs. He could not survive it. I remember seeing my mother, my father dying when you were looking like this. You know, I was saying that poverty is bad because the poverty can kill you when you are looking like this. So my father died. After two weeks, Four of the children, with me inclusive, we fell sick from malaria still. I don't know how I survived. God always ask that question. But on the 12th of July, my sister died at around 11 a.m. I can't forget. Then my brother, died at around 6.30. The thing is, two died on the same day. I may not be sure about the exact minutes, you know, but two passed away on the same day. I remember seeing my sister and my brother in our small house, two dead bodies. And we buried them the following day. Somebody was asking me that, didn't you take them for medication? Didn't you take them to any clinic? My mother didn't. Because she did what she could. She got the, herb, the herbs and gave us all of his belief. 
what we, we pray very hard and we thank you for this for supporting us in this we are putting up this big structure it's just in the kind of a youth form why did we think of this big structure because we have very many children and the moment we start men are going to come because even those who are in that Muslim school, they are saying that, Father, please, when is our school starting? That's why we said we put up that big structure. And then after that big structure, we shall put up uh, uh, the toilets, not for flushing, but <laughs> to put up the toilets, the dormitories. We need a dormitory because some kids are moving from very far away. The library, we thank you so much. And then the water. We are so honored that some person gave us the water. We are going to do this water system. This is what happens. We are going to we drill down, depending where the water, how deep the water is. Then we put pipes up to down. Then we put on a submersible pump. Then we work on it like this. Then we put a tower and a tamper up, such that the submersible pump brings the water up to the main tank. And then the main tank supplies the water. Because we need clean water for our children, not for the sick. Because if they are still getting water from swamps, we shall get many cases for typhoid, diarrhea, and others. We are so happy that somebody gave us donation for that water system. $8,000. gave us donation for that system. So our kids, even if they are 3,000, 4,000, they shall have clean water, which is really good. But because when these kids, where they get water in our villages, kind of a swamp, you find people get water from the swamp, and also the animals are coming to feast to get the water. So just yes, competing for water. The animals also they have the right to take to have water, you know. And then also people are coming to get water. How can I thank you enough? I think for your song. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to do that. Mm. So, dear friends, we thank you so much for this great love. And thanks so much for praying for us. And always we pray for you. Every Sunday. And in each month we celebrate. We pray for Monsignor Cain, our pastor, and all the priests, and all the parishioners of St. Mary's. We also pray for Yamba Uganda. Question is sent to me. They told that, Father, there's nothing we can give our friends. Number one, the biggest gift we can give them is prayer. They are praying for, we are praying for you. And then they are warmly waiting for Monsignor, Dinkon Joe, and all the group who is coming. But however, the parish pastor council gave me this small gift to present it to you. Please accept it. Whenever it will, it's a sign of love. After giving the gift, I will not speak again. Somebody told me that the father, maybe you could stay around here. <laughs> but then I have enjoyed it so much. Monsignor took me to the carnival for my very first time. <laughs> it was so amazing, you know. <laughs> then. Mama and Daddy took me to New York to see Lion King. <laughs> Very magnificent theater, you know. It was so good, you know. So I've enjoyed so much. You are welcome to me, Monsignor. Thank you so much in your house. And all of you have heard me in your houses, Mr. Ron and others. Thank you. 
You have given me everything. I'm happy. <coughs> May the good Lord always continue to bless you. Please join me in this song and pray for me as I'm going back. By the way, it takes a lot of courage. You know what happens in Uganda? Getting a visa to the United States is very difficult. <laughs> for me, they denied me a visa two times. You, you know why? Because many people, they are right. For me, I said that somehow they are right. Because when some people come to America, they don't want to go back. <laughs> Serious. When they compare the standard of living, they say, ah, why am I going back to Uganda? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody asked that the father would like to say, I said, no, thank you. I have to go back. Because my people are there. And when they see me, it's a sign of hope. It's a sign of hope. I visited some people who are sick. They tell that father, this person here, he has taken it four days without saying anything. Doesn't speak, the mouth closed. But when you, you meet him or her, you greet her, you talk to her, somebody sits and speaks. He said, hey, Father, do you, do you have magic words? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's love. So I must go back. And I'm going back on Wednesday. I'm happy to be here. And I'm also happy to go back <laughs> to serve the people of God. But please, Monsignor is coming with my Migos on the 10th of August. Monsignor, Dr. Dinkon Jo, Ms. Bena, and, and other people are coming. We shall have them well. We shall take them around to see your sister parish. Join me in this song as you pray for me for courage. Amen? Amen. Amen. We are going to sing together. Love you. Thank you very much. I the Lord of sea and sun, I have heard my people cry, who will dwell in heart and sing, my hand will say, I will make the stars of Well, I'm just going to uh, say something very brief. 
Uh, first, uh, I want to thank Father Vincent and the people of Holy Trinity because uh, we hope and pray that we're changing you, but you have changed us. Uh, because I remember when we first brought forward the idea of twinning, uh, people <laughs> were not open to the idea. And I thought, my goodness, so uh, why don't we worry about people in our own backyard? Why are we worrying about people all the way across the ocean? And look how hearts have changed, and look how many people are here tonight, and all that is, has happened. So uh, twinning has not only hopefully been a blessing for you, but it's been a blessing to us because it's touched our heart, and it's moved people, as I said, look at, uh, around us at what is happening. And uh, we have two little gifts for you to take back. Okay, Dika Joe is one of them. Not much. <laughs> St. Mary's Parish. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a little coin, and it has the image of both our churches on the front oh. and the back. So we kind of like to have the wish for you. It will always be with you. Unfortunately, it's not solid gold, but. Uh, <laughs> Okay, now we'll bring out the alcohol. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.